Okay, this is the site of the old Windy Gap School. I am in the gap of uh, two points here, so I imagine that's how it got its name. And it is windy up here. And uh, some of you that went to the uh, Windy Gap School, you remember those big pines there? These are some pretty old pines back there. Those would have had to been there back in the day when the school was in operation. So we're going to walk around the site and see if we see anything. It's a nice open area still after all these years. I hiked up from the road that uh, is past where the falls are at, about two and a half miles past the falls, the upper falls of the Holly. There's a better look at those big pines. Those had to have been there when the school was here. So I'm going to have to say whether the uh, school sat on the area here I know it's another open area over in here, past these big pines. I don't know if this was where Penborough was back over in here. According to the map I have, that's where Penborough was. So we're going to make our way through here. Right amongst the pines here, there's this U-shaped depression. It's one of two things. Either this was a natural spring here where they would have got their water, or it could have been a house coal mine where they dug some coal for the school. It's pretty old. But you'll see there's water seeping out. It's one of two things, either a natural spring or water's backed up in the mine that's seeping out here. Just the way it's designed, Back where all that is, right in the center there. I don't want to say it's coal. But someone who went here can correct me. Put the facts in. Right behind the pines, or in front of the pines, depending which direction. If you're on the Holly side over here where the road is that leads from Hacker Valley to Pickens, I'm behind the pines right now, just about. Right here, kind of the mouth of what I call this spring. There's another open area here. It goes all the way over. I see another depression over here with water seeping out. Yep, let's go take a look. Finally found a structure that indicates something was here. All right, you uh, school kids from Windy Gap, remember this uh, rock wall here that's stacked up? A lot of rocks stacked over here. On this side of the pines now, away from the road between Hacker Valley and Pickens. Boy, I see a lot of big cherry trees in here. Here's this other opening over here. When I looked at Google Earth and then the 1915 map that I'll dub into this video, Tenbro was pointed out as right here in this area. Serious big cherry trees there. Some big oaks in there. A few more cherries. I just see them scattered throughout here. But here's another stacked set of rocks. Rocks back here almost like there was a foundation to something. A building right in here. Just the way that's sitting. This log land here. Here's another stack of rocks. More behind it, and just for a bearing. It's in the field that's behind those big pines. The map tells me the school was on the other side of the pines and that this area was Penbro. So way back there in the center is that set of rocks that was at the end of the field. I am going to walk in this area first, but out of the corner of my eye spot more stacked rocks down there. And I see several. It looks like there's a road down there. So we are going to go down to that. Here's some more of those cherries. You know, when I come across the ridge there, there's obviously, they were logging on the side where the road between Hacker Valley and Pickens is that you go up. I think that's County Route 3, if I'm not mistaken. But the trees on this side all seems undisturbed, much bigger trees. Like that big right out there. So I think, although there's no signs to indicate 
on the ridge. This may be the park property. Someone could point that out or I'll look at a map and see. I think it's very close to it. I'm pretty sure right here was a coal mine. Now whether this connected to Penbro or the school, I don't know. Why do I say that? Look at the ground here. You see all the bits of coal still on the surface here. Right there. And there's water seeping out. That's always a sign of a mine. Just right back in here somewhere. I'm gonna leave some shale here. That's almost like it's a little bit of a waste pile in front of this. It's right behind that small tree there. Right in this area. I'm convinced it's, uh, there's an old coal mine here. Because it's on this end of the uh, mountain, it's probably related to Penbro more than the school. And I came about 200 feet on around. Notice this ditch. It, this is man-made. If you can see the U-shaped here, that just ends. Guarantee there was a mine back there. A lot of water seeping out of it. I'm standing right where the mouth would have been. You see water seeping out here. And it looks like sulfur water. A good indication. And there are bits and pieces of coal and shale as you look down there. So another mine, 200 feet away from the other. It'll be hard to see. But right now I'm walking what I'm convinced is an old, I'll call it a sled path that would have been made with horses going around the hill here from those coal mines. And this path led right up to the coal mine. That's why I'm following it. If you look down there, there's a nice flat area. Unbelievably. <laughs> here is a third one. This is another two to three hundred feet around from the last two. A lot of erosion dumped in over the entrance there. Yeah. Some of the leaves out of the way. There's all bits of coal again. Shale coal right in this entrance. So three big ones. Hard to say how many more. There's this path just wraps around the hillside. Look at the size of that triple cherry tree there. It's over four feet at the base. This has to be park property. So we're gonna go back. Didn't see any more mines. I came around another couple hundred feet. Yeah, my hunch was right. Uh, reason there's so many big trees in here. I just looked at my GPS app, had enough of a cell signal up here on top of the hill. I am within the boundaries of the Pauley River State Park. As soon as I came over that ridge back there where the Windy Gap is, that's where the boundary started. Okay, when I was looking at the second of those last three house coal mines, or coal banks, whatever you want to call them, I saw this down here. It looks like they forked off in a Y here. There's water seeping out there, and there's water seeping out this side. Now, I don't know if that's just a coincidence that, you know, there's a Y here and dirt mounted up in the center. I have to kick some leaves around in the center here, see if I see any coal. Seconds. Once I turn the camera off, there's all types of coal laying here. I've kicked a couple other spots. So definitely, they went in here, in here. So that's five that I can say is absolutely were old coal mines, coal banks. This, however, I'm thinking that the elevation's probably 75 feet lower than those other three up there. So definitely a different seam of coal here that they dug on. Not quite as big, but boy, there are some powerful trees in here. That's 36 inches. That's 40. Easily. I have to tell you, right here below Penn Bro, you see the water seeping out again. They really worked this hillside for coal because here's yet another Y split. Water seeping out there and water seeping out here. And it's man made for sure. Coal, shale. What well, seems like an eternity ago probably five minutes on this film, but 45 minutes of walking around this hillside from where I was first up at the far end of what I consider Penville. There's another little field down here and that set of rocks, stacked rocks. There's one there, there's one over in there. 
all those intervening coal mines, at least seven that I counted. Two that had Ys, two openings. So there were four there. And then those other three when I walked around the upper ones, the ones that were higher up in elevation. That upper field just right there. Probably could see the pines again. According to that 15 map, the Windy Gap School would be indicated on the other side of those pines as I'm going back towards the road that leads from Hecker Valley to Pickens. I'm below the field that I think is Penbro. I imagine since this is still wide open here, this is part of Penbro. This is that lower field I believe is below Penbro or part of Penbro. As you come around at the same level, look at this massive stack of rocks here. 30 feet long at least. Probably came off the field. Where there's some nice flats below here. Don't know what's on down in there. Kind of on the leeward side of the wind. That windy gap. Man, there's a lot of cherries in here. This is the uh, Holy River State Park property. Look at this. Glad I kept walking around here. Definitely man-made. Looks like a horse water trough. It's made out of concrete. So there was something here. By the size of that cherry tree, that's been here a long time. 30 inches, 36. There was something here, because there's actually concrete behind it. Someone tell me what this is, and I think I see something else over here made out of concrete. Yeah, no question that this is a building foundation here. It's made out of rock. I thought it was concrete, that edge right there, I thought it was. Someone's house, perhaps? Look at this, a set of steps going out the back. Unless that is the front. <laughs> But we're right amongst these big pines down below the uh, field. Yeah, I see something big over here. More surprises. Imagine these pines were pretty small back in the day. Okay, you people who went to the Windy Gap School, a few of you that are still alive. Oh, respect intended. Look at this huge area here. With like a rock retaining wall behind it here. And again, I'm behind, or a little below the pines, mixed into the pines. That first field, when you first top off up on the ridge, is right over in there. What could this have been? It's almost like a basement. It's so big. That's up above that structure that we just filmed. Uh, 10, 20, 25 to 30 feet wide. About the same, it's almost a perfect square there. This retaining wall behind it. Just below that field that's on the top of the windy gap. Right below these pines. Maybe that foundation was the school. Someone will have to say whether the school was on, right on top of the uh, ridge in the gap or a little bit below it amongst these old pines. Of course, the pines would have been a lot smaller. <sighs> because there's a path right here that leads right up to it. And I'm suspecting, I don't know, look at the red brick land here. I don't know if that was a brick building. You know, they always recovered what they could. 
when they dismantled things. Now, of course, the Windy Gap School that sits in Holly River State Park is uh, wooden. And right here's that path. It's right below it. And as I'm walking by the path here, of course, it goes right up to the ridge. But once again, they built this up right here, almost like a little bridge. And right there. Creek that poured off here? What was this? And tell me this was another mine opening here? I mean, there's sulfur water down there in that hole. But that wouldn't make sense to uh, build this like bridge over top of it. But clearly these rocks were laid here so that this path could continue. You could see it goes straight through there. This may have been where they collected their water. Is that right, students? Because <laughs> it's right next to that big structure. Whatever that structure was, I bet that's what this was, was some type of water holding area here. You know, this is an old path. You can see some of the rock that just lines it there. Going right up to the ridge. Okay, we wanted to show you that path that I was just filming. You see how they line the rock there? Keep the path from washing out? Now, just notice something else. Let's see if any of you have noticed. The timber here is mostly all poplar on this side of that little bridge and where that building was with the uh, red brick lane in the ground. Poplar means that grew back. This was all a field at one time over in here. This poplar grows back fast. There's like one or two hardwoods that I see in here. But what caught my eye? I'm not going to walk into it. But... Let's see if I could zoom in on that here. Huge rock pile down there. That's not natural. That's probably just rocks stacked up from the field over here. Where they probably planted their corn and such and such. My final word is I hope they never let uh, loggers in on the park. No disrespect to the loggers, but nature could take care of itself here. If these big trees fall, so be it. This is, should be enjoyed by everyone. In fact, I looked on the park's website, I don't even see this area, you know, mapped out to tell you, at least on the website, maybe over in the park offices or at the school there, it'll tell you where this is, but there's no real de clear delineated path to get up to this. But it's worth the hike. Uh, I could tell you from where I parked at on County Route 3 down there on the road from Hacker Valley to Pickens, it is... Two and a half miles past the Upper Falls, first of all, there's a wide spot you could park there. The elevation gain from the road to the ridge here, where the Windy Gap area is, the elevation gain was 600 feet. The distance that you actually walk in a straight line is about 750, a little bit longer than that, when well, you make your way up the hill. No delineated path, I just went right up the hill. So in parts it was relatively steep when you think about that the elevation gain and the distance fairly close together. So that's the end of the Windy Gap Tour. Other than there's more of that road. <laughs> We're going to walk right back up to the road and see where it goes. Okay, last part. This is up on the ridge when you first top off. Some stacked rocks here. <laughs>